Hi everybody, we're here to uh, demonstrate our Proton Pack inspired by the Ghostbusters video game. There are lots of extra cool lights and uh, things on this pack uh, straight from the video game. With that being said, let's uh, charge up the main power booster and get the show on the road. Power booster's charging. You fire up the proton pack by turning on the main power cell. All sounds are activated at one flip of the switch. There's no extra switches to activate sound. You might notice that the cyclotron is not running. Well, that's because that's your safety feature. To turn the safety off, right here, one flick of the switch and your cyclotron will be ready to fire. An alternate sound. Sounds like the cyclotron spinning into action there. Several sets of different kinds of lights that you won't see on a regular proton pack. Of course, these lights inspired by the video game, part of the pack vent system. Here's your vent with a red hot glowing filament there. You might notice the smaller amber lights up inside the pack. Uh, call those ambient lights. They light up the details of the pack in the dark along with more ambient lighting over here just to give off some of the cool details. Well, this uh, bright light here represents the stasis defense system from the uh, from the rear, and also on the gun we have the stasis targeting. Gun comes with some really cool strobe lights on the side there that alternate a pattern. It's also very fun to fire. Nice bright strobe lights on the side. A nice even thrower sound. And of course, Venture Pack. And no Ghostbuster can make his entrance without the uh, theme. It does play the whole song, but hit your pack vent to reset any of the sound. Of course, you may notice that the uh, the bumper here on the back is a little bit different. This is by X-Ray. It came in a cast gray color. Excellent part. Uh, worth every penny. Uh, very clean, very nice casting. Uh, it came in the gray. I went to sand it down to paint it, and it ended up looking like it was made out of stainless steel. So I left it alone. I thought it really brought out the uh, bottom side of the pack, made it look really three-dimensional, especially with this being seen most of the time in the dark. Um, the lights from the vent and the amber ambient lighting really set off the pack. You get a nice glow off of the ion arm from the other lights mounted at the top. It does have the gun mount bracket. It will mount to the side and stay on there nice and tight. It's also mounted to an actual Alice pack military frame painted black the way it's supposed to be with full straps. Also installed this nice little uh, battery cable that allows you to recharge your 12 volt battery system which is inside the pack. This pack is heavy. It feels like a real one. The straps and the kidney pads help out a whole lot when you put this pad on your back. This takes a small battery charger to keep your battery fresh. It's got uh, warning labels and all kinds of fun decals on there. It also has the shutdown sounds. First, the cyclotron off. 
Then the main power pack. We'll quieten it right down. A lot of hours went into making this pack. It was a lot of fun to build. Uh, most parts are by, uh, the, the shell is by Zimmerman, Zimmerman Productions. With uh, most all other parts coming from Multimedia Mayhem. It does have the aluminum MMM motherboard on it. Uh, the gun is an MMM kit. Turned out really nice. We're very proud of the pack. Thanks for watching.